Hey YouTubers, Mike Martins here, Mike Martins channel. Guys, thanks for joining me. I got a an article here that was sent to me via with an email from a doctor, and it's a really good one. So this was sent to me, and there was an email. So the, 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 the article says, I'm not going to read the entire article, I'm just going to read the headline, and then I'm going to read the attached email to it. And I'm going to keep this, this person asked to, to remain anonymous. But it says, you doctors, DNA ages six times faster than normal in this in first year. So basically the first time, first year you're like kind of like a semi-intern or whatnot. Or it says here, um, called intern year. Yeah, a new study suggests that between now and next summer, the experience, the experience will make their DNA age six times faster than normal. And the effect of the largest among of those who are training uh, in training programs demand the longest hours. So let me get to the point of why I'm making this video here. It's a really good, really good uh, heartfelt, heartfelt written uh, email here. And he wrote, uh, they set this article. I'll leave a link below to the article so you could read it. And the amount of stress that goes into a lot of these jobs and um, the amount of debt people need to get to get, uh, achieve these jobs is phenomenal. So it says here, hello, my dear friend. I like to call you my friend because you're one of the very few that understand my struggle. I am a doctor, LOL, for 11 years now. To be exact, I'm a cardiologist for six years. I'm in the field of heart and blood, vels blood vessels. People usually see me for heart, if, they, if they're experiencing heart failure, heart attack, high blood pressure, and or an, an irregular heartbeats, and so on. My spelling and writing is atrocious, by the way. I have been seeing... Now, this is the part that, that, that kicks in. I have been seeing a massive increase in patients in the last two years, and most are stressing out over debt, debt loads, and student loans, and car repairs, credit cards, lines of credit, and yes, the almighty mortgage. It's all tied to money. There is no intervenous to cure these financial liabilities. The stress in people's eyes is mind-blowing. Sorry, mind-numbing, sorry. And it's leading to major health issues. Don't get me wrong. I love my job. I caught the attention to your, of your channel when you made a video driving in your car stating, stress is more dangerous than obesity. You are 100% right to that. I will stand in front of court of law to testify that. Right now, I am renting a one-bedroom in Vancouver. I drive a 1996 Honda. I try to keep my expenses low and avoid debt at every temptation. You, every tempt at every temptation. You are right, Mike. Being a doctor nowadays mean, uh, sorry, me, being a doctor nowadays. You're in a whack of debt. Oh, okay, I see how he wrote that. So, so, so you are right, Mike. Being a doctor nowadays means you're in a whack of death. And I, uh, debt. I bring that up saying, you know, you're a doctor. So what? You're in debt. So you're a doctor. So, you know, half your pay is, is tax. And then cost of living is high. It, it, cost of living doesn't go down because you're a doctor. It cost of living, if anything, you want to live the doctor lifestyle. Apparently not this guy right here. He drives a 96 Honda in his email and he has a one bedroom in Vancouver. So he's probably you know, trying to make ends meet as best as possible and not put himself into further debt. I try to keep my expenses low and I avoid debt at every temptation. You're right, Mike. Being a doctor nowadays means you're in a whack of debt. It's nice to see doctor on my driver's license and to be referred to as a doctor. But let me tell you, Mike, if I can do it again, I would have worked as a mechanic or a plumber. I, I would be poor but not in the amount of debt I'm in right now. So guys, this is pretty, pretty, pretty serious. This is like really, this, this, this takes a serious note. This guy's a professional. He's probably a specialist too in heart, in heart. I don't know if he does heart surgery, but he's one of the guys, I guess, that, that check your blood pressure, check your um, rhythms and put you to the machine to check your heart. Uh, you know what I'm saying, right? And it's really sad to see that somebody in that that as me growing up as a kid the doctor was like the highest level you could be the highest pay wage the highest everything and this guy no offense to him drives a 19 what was a 96 honda yeah 1996 honda the doctor in cuba when I, when i was visiting cuba had a better car than that the doctor working when i was in cuba visiting 
and the doctor that would uh, go around and do visits and stuff and check people, make sure was driving a better car than that in Cuba. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, 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 we know what's going on, but I don't know how. I think it's because it's the public sector, and public sector needs funding from the private sector, and because they're shutting down all the, or the private sector is having a hard time paying their property taxes, paying everything off to fund the public sector. It's becoming harder and harder. And you know we've been watching this on the show. They've been raising property tax, been raising all kinds of stuff, just to get to get to make ends meet and to flip the budget of these uh, to make sure that these budgets are in line for these cities, right? So they don't have to borrow. And then all these pensions coming up: teachers' pensions, doctors' pensions, um, transit driver pensions, mailman pensions. It's it's an endless, endless, um, it's endless. It goes on forever. This is this is strong. This is a strong message, and someone you know, someone that's in that field that understands, and that's trying hard to keep within their means, you know. And 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 I know what he says. And avoid debt at every temptation. That's true, because when you when you're making a great salary, they're always mailing you stuff. Hey, you want this credit card? Hey, you want this? Hey, you want that? Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty. It's you know, it's tempting. Like, oh, I could use that ten grand. I could you know. Get some stuff done and stuff, but you know what? It's not worth it in the end to go into debt. The key is not going into debt. That's the key. The key is to keep it free and clear. So all disposable income goes either towards, if you're renting, towards your rent, and that's it. And then everything you have after rent is yours. That's the key, guys. Oh, it's only 50 bucks a month. I could get that TV. Uh, 50 bucks a month for the next two years. That's not too bad. No, it is bad. Don't do it. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Message from a doctor. Thank you so much for sending me this. I'll leave a link below to the article he sent me too. Thanks for watching.